Hi everyone. Uh, so in our last video, what we have done is uh, we have uh, created a continuous integration and deployment mechanism for our uh, MVC project and uploaded it to the FTP. So now, uh, what I want to do is uh, I want to commit our uh, changes and wants to have a link inside this story. So in order to do that. Uh, we need to connect Azure boards to GitHub and when you create any check-ins we need to define in this way so avi underscore so this is Azure board and hash for story numbers we have so in order to do that uh, first we need to go to project setting And inside the project settings, uh, we have GitHub connections. And it will ask for connect your GitHub account. So I will just click on this. And it should ask me for connecting it. So I have, I think, connect all those things, but this one only. Okay. And uh, let's just create, save. It will ask for my password. So I will just confirm it. And it will ask for installing this. Uh, it is a mechanism which we need to do it. So let me just do it for whatever we have choose so devop tools it's here select it to repository approve and install so it will show it something like that so it's now get connected so now i will uh, do i will go to the work item now and click on it so, uh, for example, you can say I'm a developer, so I will assign it to myself. I will do it uh, maybe active. Okay. So now I will try to do something. It's 44, right? So we are seeing that AB hash 44. So I will go here. And again, I will add one new thing, V2. Okay, I will click on save and go to home, click on changes and add V2 and AB hash 44. Okay, so let me just cross verify it again. So that's a 44. Okay. And do a commit on it. So it's get committed locally. Now I need to push it. So uh, if you go like at this time, it, it shouldn't be showing anything linking out because we haven't pushed it to the server. So always remember that we need to push our master branch to it. So let's go to home again and click on branches and on the master let's just click on push. <clears throat> so we have posted, we have updated v2 and let's just see whether it gets added in here or not. So as you can see uh, it's get added. So if I want to see, I can click on it and see what changes I have made. So it's from V1 to V2. And if I uh, see that V1 is there, so that's how you can connect it and uh, our automatic deployment should be triggered. So uh, if I go to release, 
it's not here but when i go to the pipeline it's building it right now so we will see some uh, change in version here so that's how you can link uh, commits with uh, azure devops board so it's kind of very handy so it will take some time i will just pause it for you or maybe i think uh, we don't need it it will just deploy it and show it in here so in my next video i will uh, try to show you how you can add uh, environment variables and uh, how to replace them using uh, token based replacement so stay tuned and uh, thank you for watching video have a nice day bye